We've seen something really big happen over the last week to the tune of $26.2 trillion. Okay, I want to talk to you guys about this. Now, what I'm talking about is these are the purchases made by the large market participants. It equated to 26.2 trillion SHIB over the last week. Now, this is from data from Into the Block. Into the Block is obviously a great source for this information. Now, what this does is this takes into account addresses whose SHIB turnover accounted for at least 0.1% of the total daily trading volume when it comes to SHIB EU. Now, the interesting thing is that sales by large participants during the week were also counted in the tens of trillions, but their aggregate number was almost 300 billion SHIB less. So right now, from those big holders, we're seeing more SHIB bought than more SHIB sold. This is that shift that we're needing to see in the correct direction. Now, that being said, nonetheless, the number of addresses of large sellers exceeded the number of number of no less large, oh, that was a horrible way to explain it. The number of addresses that were selling exceeded those that were buying only by three, okay? So very, very close here, very almost, almost parody, if you will. Now, obviously, over the last week, this still wasn't enough to, enough to raise the price of Shiba Inu. We've still continued this, this downtrend that we're seeing at this time, okay? What we're kind of witnessing is we'll, we'll call it the Shiba shuffle, all right? The Shiba shuffle. It's the shuffle of SHIB from the hands of the impatient to the hands of the patient. This can sometimes play out for a very, very long period of time. This is what you see a lot during the bear market cycle. You know, the big drawdown that we see from the all-time high, like if we look back at this, this is that redistribution that's happening. It's from the hands of the impatient to the hands of the patient, right? You have people unloading very large amounts and it slows down after a while. If you haven't noticed, the last basically year of Shiba Inu has basically been flat. There's a huge, huge transition happening right now as some people get out and some people get in. Right now, it's just waiting for some direction. There hasn't really been a whole lot going on that sparked interest in this mass amount of new people. Now, there are some things coming that could do that, which we've obviously talked about, you know, Shibarium, the metaverse, all these great things, but most importantly, the bull market. The bull market is when you're going to see a huge influx of capital. You're going to see a huge influx of new holders, not even just in Shiba Inu, but other coins around as well. People are going to be looking for what presents the best opportunity in that current market situation. If Shibarium is a big success, if the metaverse is a big success, if Shiba Inu continues to put forward the partnerships that are being formed at this time, you're going to see a lot of interest from people that are not in Shiba Inu right now. It's already one of the most globally recognized brands. It's already can, it has great growth and development right now. Just imagine what happens during a bull market cycle. If I need to remind you guys, just take a look at this chart. That's what happened during a bull market cycle, this massive spike up. Now, that being said, I don't know if this is going to be as, as quick and as aggressive as that was. I think this is going to be more drawn out. Again, there are more hands that are now touching Shiba Inu. The more holders there are, the longer it takes for that price to move up. But that means at the same time, too, that it is a, a stronger growth. There's more support, right? That means likely the next time Shiba Inu goes through a bull market cycle, likely hits an all-time high, is always not financial advice, and decides to go through its retracement and come back down, we're not going to be seeing this, this five zeros, eight, five level that we're seeing right now. So I thought I'd share that with you guys. Very interesting stats. I loved stats from into the block because it gives us a lot of insight into what people maybe aren't normally seeing, but I appreciate you guys. I hope you're having a fantastic Sunday. I appreciate you taking some time out of your day to stop in, check out the video, show your love below, and I hope to catch you guys in the next one. Take care.